Like, yes, you can do that without drinking, but sometimes you just want to fucking drink. Hello and welcome to the Feminine as Fuck podcast. I'm your host, Monica Yates, a period and ICF certified women's life coach, and I help women to harness the power of their period and connect to their feminine flow. In these episodes, we will be talking about all things periods, hormones, confidence, health, food, money, sex, business, feminine flow, your brain, energy, and all the stuff that goes through our heads. You will walk away from each episode with new chicken nuggets and truth bombs, as I don't have a filter and I love talking about all the shit that people are thinking but too afraid to say. Ladies, I'm so excited to, and men, I'm so excited to talk about this topic for today's podcast. Obviously, it's very fitting with the holidays and Christmas and New Year's and just all that party time. Um, So I asked you guys probably about a month ago now on Instagram, um, some of your questions about like holidays and drinking and that sort of stuff um, and navigating that area because I know a lot of you have questions about it. And some of you popped in questions about drugs. I'm not going to be answering questions about drugs because I actually don't have any um, experience with drugs. I've never taken drugs and I haven't really had any interest in doing so. Um, so, and I know that people obviously do them for different reasons and what not. I mean, the only comment that I can kind of make is like, like I'm going to say with alcohol is knowing why you're doing it is really important. If it's like to, if it's like to make yourself quote unquote feel better personally, I think that's a really toxic way to go into anything. Um, because you want to be feeling whole before you go into something, whether it's drinking a relationship, a job, like exercise, anything, because anything where you're trying to get this external love or validation or acceptance is not healthy. So I'm not going to be talking about drugs, but I am going to be talking about other things like why it can be good for your soul, what to do after you're drinking and after you're having these holiday periods so that you can just like keep your liver going. Um, like waking up hangover, hungover, what to do, sugar, um, all that sort of stuff I'm going to be talking about today. So keep a list, keep a, what's the word? Like tune in. I'm on my period right now. My communication skills are not as good as when I'm ovulating. So you'll have to bear with me. I do actually, I don't apologize. I'm just like making you aware. Okay, so obviously the first thing that I always say around this time of the year is like fucking live your life. For fuck's sake, like there is nothing worse. Okay, I can – so my Christmas two years ago was spent in the hospital after my ski accident. And I will do a podcast episode talking about my ski accident because I know I've got a lot of new followers that don't really know about that. And obviously I'm about to go skiing for the first time since my ski accident, which I am excited but also a little bit nervous about. Um So I spent that Christmas in 2017 um, in a hospital room in extraordinary amounts of pain and on an extraordinary list of drugs that I was so out of it. Anyway, um, it was also a fun Christmas. No, it was not a fun Christmas, but it was a cute Christmas lunch because dad made the turkey and he made everything that I love and they just brought it into the hospital. It was obviously kind of depressing, but like you know, looking back, it had cute pictures. Anyway, whatever. Okay. So this is the time to be living. You guys are on holidays. You're celebrating. If you haven't gotten my masterclass, my happy holidays masterclass, make sure you get onto that. If you are a little bit nervous about Christmas time, if you're worried about spending time with your families, the boundaries that are going to be crossed, how you're going to be triggered X, Y, and Z, I really recommend the masterclass. It's like, you should really fucking get it because it's really fucking good. Um, and I'm talking all about triggers and and navigating that whole area, but I'm not going to be talking about that now. Right now we're talking about drinking. But this is the time where you want to celebrate. And people often ask me, and I got asked it actually on the weekend, do you drink? And I do drink. People, and you guys obviously tend to ask me as well, do I drink? And I do drink when there is something to celebrate about or when I want to have a drink. So, you know, I had a drink, when was it? For my birthday, I had a, I had a drink on the 10th of December. I got a bottle of French champagne delivered to my door in the hotel that I'm staying in and uh, along with like a pile of roses and everything. Thanks, mom and dad. And um, some peonies and like all my favorite flowers basically in one massive vase. And <clears throat> I had, um, I did drink that night. I was with a friend and we had fun and I drank because I wanted to. I had really good champagne there. It was actual champagne, not sparkling wine. Um, I had an incredible view. It was going to be snowing the next morning. And I, I have so much to celebrate from this year that I was like, yeah, I'm having a drink or three because I wanted to. Um, and that felt really good. And I was not hungover the next day. And I've actually found that I've kind of been experimenting the past like year when I drink, when I really want to, and I'm having a lot of fun, I actually don't tend to get as hungover compared to when I'm drinking like out of obligation 
maybe it's also because you know, like obviously the energy is really important in my body when I'm drinking because if my body is in really good energy, my liver is going to be able to detoxify more. It's also like I, like I'll talk about today, I do do things before and afterwards to help my liver and everything, but I actually didn't on the night of my birthday. Um, sorry, the, the night before my birthday. Um, what was my Australia birthday? Not yet my birthday in America, whatever. It's also fucking confusing, isn't it? So I'm going to talk about that stuff today, but I really have found the better my energy is when I'm drinking, the less I am hungover. So if you're drinking out of like, oh my God, I have to escape this shit. Like I found that I'm more hungover than when I'm drinking out of like, it's New Year's Eve. I want to have fucking fun. And I, and I make some like really pretty drinks and I drink them out of a nice glass and I enjoy the drink and I'm really present with drinking. I'm not like downing vodka or anything like that. Um, that's sort of what I found. I will say though, that I have noticed that it does definitely take a toll on my immune system. Um, and, but I've also found that since my ski accident, my immune system definitely has been worse than beforehand. Um, just obviously my, it takes like a long time for drugs to be flushed out of your system, especially heavy ones like that. Um, and also with my job and everything, like it is a little bit stressful. So my immune system does tend to struggle a little bit more. Um, and then especially around the holiday period when I'm adding alcohol to it, it doesn't like exactly do it anything good. Um, but I'm going to talk about in a second how I kind of like combat that. Um, I have also found, and I know that a lot of my clients find this, if you really notice, you'll get a bit depressed the week after you've been drinking. So I've noticed that after I have been drinking, I will tend to cry more, be a little bit down in the dumps, a little bit less energized, um, a, a bit more of like an overthinker. So it's really important for me that when I am drinking, I'm just aware of these things. So I kind of know like, oh, it's not me. Or it's not that anything's wrong with my life or anything. It's actually just that like I've been drinking and I'm where this is going to happen. And that's why I also make sure that after I've been drinking, um, I stick to my practices, I stick to my journaling, my dancing, all that sort of stuff, just to keep my energy high um, and not to like stay in this depressed state. So I really believe, ladies and gentlemen, that it can be very good for your soul. I believe that if you are drinking from a place that like, I want to let my hair down and have fun with my friends and celebrate, not let my hair down and toxic, but let my hair down. Like I just want to like, you know, get a bit tipsy and fucking dance on a table. Like, yes, you can do that without drinking, but sometimes you just want to fucking drink and that's okay. That's okay. It's just about whether you're doing it consciously or not. I mean, we could tie this to like any area of life. It's like, sometimes you just want a fucking donut. Well, go have a donut. If it's consciously, you're having a donut. If it's to cover up a feeling, if it's to avoid an emotion, that's where the problem occurs. But if it's to, um, celebrate life, if it is to, um, you know, be with your friends, celebrate the year, um, you're at a wedding, you know, like all these sorts of examples. You know, I drank when I was in Europe, when I was at like Como for my cousin's wedding, because like they were fucking handing around the most gorgeous champagne. I was in the most gorgeous, like castle thing. I don't know. It was fucking out of control. Um, go Jess and Morris. Um, and, and they were, you know, giving, like handing, uh, giving out, um, champagne in those like, what are those glasses that are like saucers? Like those very like, um, oh, what's that movie? It's got Leonardo DiCaprio in it. Fuck, I can't remember the movie. Oh, Great Gatsby. Like those glasses. And I'm like, I can't resist champagne in those things. But at the same time, I also knew at that, um, at that location, that venue, like I was celebrating, but I was not there to get drunk. I, I wasn't with my friends. I was obviously having fun and whatnot, but I wasn't with my friends. I know it's very hot. And if I'm hungover in the heat, I actually want to kill myself. And, um, whereas when I'm hungover in the cold, I find it going outside, just like all of a sudden your hangover has gone. Like, it's incredible. You just go outside and it's like Cairo, not Cairo, um, cryo. And it's just like, all your hangover is gone. Um, so it's like, it's noticing how alcohol like affects you. Um, and obviously alcohol really heats up your body and I am a fire sign and I am very hot naturally. Like when I get acupuncture, my acupuncturist is always like, fuck, you run so hot, Monica. And I run really, really hot. I have like the air con on sometimes in, in my hotel room whilst it's like minus two degrees Celsius outside. Um, because I just really don't like to hate it. I find it gets me very agitated. So it's just about knowing, like it takes some time to reflect for yourself um, before you go into Christmas and the holidays of like, how does alcohol react with me? Maybe go out for a drink this weekend and just notice the following week and how you're feeling. And maybe like actually write these things down. Like what's happening? When did you cry? Like what foods are you eating? Noticing these patterns so that you can become really aware of them and stop them in their tracks before they happen around Christmas and New Year's. And if you're in Australia, Australia day. And like, obviously in Australia, this, this time of year is really holiday season. Like we are all taking like weeks off work. Whereas in New York, people 
it's not as much of a big thing. People take like a week or two off, like if that. Um, so noticing these sorts of things before you go into the holiday period is going to be really, really helpful. Um, I also really like to encourage you guys to ask yourself why. So why do you want to drink? Um, if you are wanting to drink to, you know, ask, like literally ask yourself this question in your head. If your mum or your auntie is like, Hey, Monica, would you like a glass of champagne? Just quickly ask yourself, um, and just tune in to like, why do I want champagne? Do I want it? Because I'm like, Oh my God. Yes. Like fucking give me some of that. Like I need it. That is going to be toxic. But if you're like, yeah, actually I will have a glass of champagne. Thank you that's like a different energy that you're going into it with. So like last Christmas, I made the most insanely strong margaritas of my life. And I was kind of inebriated at Christmas. I mean, I wasn't dead or I wasn't, I didn't look like fuck. I didn't, I didn't look fucked, but I was pretty gone. And why was I doing it? Because I was like, oh my God, like all my extended family is coming. And, you know, we all have those cousins and, and those, fa- those, you know, parts of the family where we're just like, I just don't even want to look at you. Uh, and that sounds horrible, but we all have our own reasons for it. Um, so, you know, yeah, I did get kind of inebriated and that's not something that I want to encourage you guys to do. And I'm, I don't do that anymore. So I've gone in the past, like I'd say three years, I've gone through like a lot of phases of like, nope, I'm never drinking again. And then like, actually fuck it. I'm young. I'm going to drink every weekend. Um, and like get fucked. And then I've gone through phases of like, I don't even know what I'm doing. And then I've gone through phases of drinking when I'm like dating somebody and then not drinking otherwise, like anyway. And now I've gotten to this point where it's like, I drink when I want to drink. So if I'm on a date with someone and I want to have a drink with him, then I will. But I've also been on dates where I'm like, no, I'm not drinking. I'll just have a soda water. And I fully own it because I'm at that place now where it's like, I will drink when I want to. Like after my New York event, there was so much just to celebrate. Um, after that November one, oh my God, ladies, tickets are out for the March one. Tickets are out. So make sure it's November. It's, it's March um, 14th to 16th here in New York City. It's going to be fucking amazing. Obviously better than the last one. They're going to keep getting better and better. So make sure that you get your tickets because they are very limited tickets and they're already selling out. Um, so after that event, obviously, um, I had a margarita. I actually only had half of it because it was so like strong. Actually, I'm a really big lightweight and I never drink. So like two sips and I'm gone. Um, so I only had half of it, but I drank because there was so much to celebrate. And like when my photographer Morgan was like, Hey, can I get you a margarita? I was like, you know what? Yeah, actually I would love a margarita. And it wasn't that I was wanting to take the edge off. It was that I was actually wanting a margarita. Um, but sometimes you also like you know, if you want to consciously, like, you know what, I actually want to have a drink because I just want to be able to like, just like relax for a second and just like be really present and enjoy myself. And sometimes one drink can do that. So it's just asking yourself why, and is it from like a conscious place of like, you know what, I actually do want to drink or is it from like a unconscious place of like, I need a drink. That's the difference. And like, I was out on the weekend with a friend and, um, I obviously did not need a drink, but I actually wanted a drink. I was like, you know what? I'm actually wanting a drink. I want a vodka lime and soda. And like, I had a vodka lime and soda and I didn't need any, like I could have gone for another one, but I was like, no, 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 I don't want another one because I knew I would have like put myself over the edge. Um, and so it's being able to like know these parts of yourself as well. And I, I do feel like if you're young, listen, if you're young listening to this, I definitely feel like, I mean, I obviously I'm young, but like, whatever you guys know what I mean. You know, if you're still in that party phase of life, actually is what I should say. You're like you'll start to learn your limits and I've I'm I can feel when I'm about to like when I'm like at the at a level where it's like okay if I have one more drink I'm gonna go I'm gonna become like top like drunk is what I'm gonna become so let's not do that and I've learned to have that self-control because of my why my why is I don't want to be drunk I do not want to you know you know um be making a fool of myself. I do not want to be tipsy. I do not want to wake up hungover. And so that's why I don't get drunk majority of the time. But then there are other times where maybe you actually like want to get a bit drunk. It's just about being conscious about these things, ladies. Just asking yourself the question why, like honestly, ask yourself the question why, or what is it that I'm trying to escape? Or what is it that I want to get out of this scenario? Um, and, and go from there. 
Um, so, you know, live your fucking life and ask yourself why. I mean, life is short and you don't want to get, if you're young, you don't want to get to 45 and be like, oh, I wish I had more fun. Like, you're not going to, like, trust me, ladies, you are not going to be laying on your deathbed being like, oh, I shouldn't have had those two glasses of champagne, you know, on the 22nd of December, 2019. Like, that's not going to happen. You know what you're going to be lying on your deathbed saying to yourself? I wish I had more fun. I wish I drank more. I wish I had more sex. I wish I let my hair down more. I wish I spoke my truth more. That's what you're going to be saying on your deathbed. You're not going to be saying, oh, I shouldn't have had that drink of alcohol. Do you know what I mean? So, like, live your fucking life. Um, For me personally, I just fucking hate waking up hungover. So I will be very conscious about when I am drinking to a point where I'm like, I might wake up hungover. And I will never drink, like I never drink like um, during the week, especially if I have clients the next day. I mean, I drank the, de- the, n- the night before my birthday because I didn't have clients the next day. Um, but like most weekends, I, do- I like really don't ever fucking drink. Uh, I drank last weekend, but I knew that I was going to be fine. I, mean, I only have clients. Um, I've got my last couple of little follow-up clients um, today and then I'm done for the holidays. So, um, you know, and I don't feel shit at all today or anything. So I... I'm very conscious also about my job and the reason why I choose not to drink is it does, if I drink a lot frequently and then I don't maintain my energetic practices, it does block my third eye. It does um, inhibit me from like fully being able to like be motivated and show up fully. So um, during the holiday period, I, you know, I'll drink a little bit more maybe because I'm not working. Like I'm like not doing my clients, but um, majority of the time I will not drink because I've noticed that it does affect me. And I really hate waking up hungover, like really, really hate it. So if I want to get, go out and have a bit of fun and get, get a little bit drunk, I will only do it when I know that I've got like days to recover. If I don't have days to recover, I won't do it because I know that I'll just be regretting it. Like I've done that. I've, I've done it enough times where I, I like regret waking up hungover. Like I regret the night before, not the night before, but like drinking that much. Um, because you wake up so hungover and I just fucking hate, like I fucking hate the feeling of being hungover. So I just like really don't do it. Like I really, really don't do it. Um, the other thing is that when you guys go out, if you're getting cocktails, the sugar in the cocktails is the extra killer. It inhibits your liver's ability to detoxify. It causes more inflammation. It causes more dehydration. And a lot of the time you also get like a sugar hangover, especially if you're very healthy during the week, you'll get more of a sugar hangover than you will an alcohol hangover. So if you're getting cocktails, like for example, with margaritas, um, they put triple sec in the margarita generally and triple sec as far as I know, has I'm I'm by no means an alcohol like connoisseur, um, but I'm pretty sure triple sec has sugar in it, or they use some sort of like liqueur and it's got sugar in it. So I will ask them to like not put any of that in. So I basically get like tequila, lime, and like ice or water or like whatever. So I try. I also just ask them to like not put in any liqueur, so I'm not getting as much sugar. Um, but my drink of choice is always, um, a vodka lime and soda, or if someone's offered me like dry champagne, I'm like, hell's fucking yes. And obviously dry, like champagne does have more sugar than wine or vodka lime and soda. But again, I'm living my fucking life. I don't eat sugar like during the day. I don't eat like any, I don't eat, I don't really eat any fruit. I don't eat like anything sweet during the day. So like having, you know, one or like having like two glasses of champagne on a weekend is not going to fucking kill me. Um, and I'm doing all the right things before and after, and my diet is, is so perfect and, and all that sort of stuff that my body and my liver is able to flush out the sugar and flush out the alcohol as well. Um, the preservatives also in like wine and champagne is also going to cause partly the hangover as well. So like getting preservative free shit, is going to also like help in that area. Um, so like if you're planning Christmas, like that's why last Christmas I made margaritas because I didn't want to drink wine and champagne. Um, so if you're planning Christmas, like maybe also if you can plan, like if you want, if you do want to drink, maybe planning some sort of like fun cocktail number where, um, there's less, uh, sugar in it and there's more like more alcohol <laughs> less sugar more alcohol please um so that's that now if you uh, let's go through um let's go through also how to like like what to do before and after so 
before I go out drinking or before you go out drinking, you know, on a daily basis, guys, you want to be making sure that you're having lots of brassica vegetables. So brassica vegetables is really good for your period and like PMS and then just also general health men and women. Brassica vegetables helps your body to flush out excess estrogen from your liver and get your liver like into that phase two of detoxification. Um, men as well, you guys want to be always focusing on flushing out your liver because we live in a world full of fuck tons of xenoestrogens, um, which mimic estrogen in your body and a lot of men have um, estrogen dominance which is very fucking bad for you so things like um, broccoli cauliflower brussels sprouts cabbage bok choy all these sorts of things are going to help your liver to flush out the excess estrogen and just get your liver detoxifying um, you can also get high dose turmeric tablets that turmeric helps your body produce glutathione, which also flushes your liver out, um, which is really good. Bone broth is something that I am like always drinking and I really recommend that you drink it. Um, you know, you can buy it in America. You can get it from Whole Foods in the freezer section. They've got bonafide provisions, which is a really good one. And then in Australia, Meadow and Marrow or Undivided Food Co. They're really good ones as well to get. Bone broth is like a non-negotiable. You guys want to be drinking it all the time, especially like before you go out drinking and then after you're drinking like you don't have to drink it when you come home but like drink it the next few days have a couple of cups um just to like get your liver going uh, other things for your liver as well as you can take um something like you can take broccoli sprout powder or you can take fresh broccoli sprouts they are really high in something called dim which also helps your liver to flush out toxins and any excess estrogen if you are a woman that gets utis easily definitely, definitely be using Mama Taro. So Mama Taro is a product that's American based, American made as well. Um, it is a product that they have in like a oil and then also a balm. Um, and basically it is a pH balancing, like fucking vagina magic that you put up your vagina or you bathe in the oil. Like you put some oil in the bath. Um, or I also like to rub the oil, um, over my pussy after I've had a Brazilian wax, just to, like calm any like inflammation and whatnot. But, um, you put the balm up your vagina, like you literally like like put a pile on your finger like you're doing moisturizer and then put it up your pussy and it helps to balance your pH levels and combat like UTIs, BV, all that jazz, or like um, thrush, yeast infections. So if you're someone that finds that whenever you go out drinking, you then get a UTI or BV or thrush or whatever, then just use this on a daily basis, especially around that this Christmas period um, and holidays and whatnot with going out partying and, and staying up later and there being more stressed. Like if, the, if all these things kind of trigger a UTI, I really could not recommend a recommend oh that's an interesting word recommend mama taro enough um but also with utis ladies like if you're getting utis constantly you need to be looking at your gut and like your gut bacteria and your ph balance anyway um because you know reoccurring yeast re re reoccurring yeast infections or utis are, are not normal like there's something else going on so luckily for me I, I like barely ever get utis um i've gotten one uti in my life and that was when i was skiing um and having sex so that would be why and um and I got BV once from a new partner as well when I was having sex with him and like once I put, used the Mama Tara stuff it like went away like straight away so it's literally magical when you put it up it does feel like a little bit like hot and burny but it's fine it's not doing anything wrong um so we will link that for you in the description box um and you can go and buy some of that as well the next thing that's also really good, obviously, is water. So when you are out drinking, I have like a new rule for myself of every drink, like glass of drink that I have, I then have to have a glass of water. I actually made this rule for myself on my 18th birthday. That was the most responsible night I'd ever had. Well, um, as in like all of the nights before my 18th birthday were irresponsible and that night was very responsible. I like made this new rule for myself that after every shot, I would have a glass of water and it stuck with me. So after every drink that you have, have a glass of water or three, um, at the time you're like, no, I don't need it. But like you fucking do the next day, you can like feel how your whole body just feels so fucking dry. Um, so make sure that you're doing that. If you're someone like I used to really struggle with drinking water when I was hungover because I don't know, I just like really didn't like it. So that's why I find now with, if when I'm, if I'm hungover or like the next day drinking, I'll put things like lemon in my water or I'll put apple cider vinegar or I'll have bone broth or I'll make lots of cacao elixirs or lots of green tea or anything like that, that where it's like not water, water, but it's getting me to like drink fluids. I find that really, really helpful. 
Um, I also find Epsom salt baths really helpful. So let's go through some supplements that you guys can be having. So I said the turmeric, the high dose turmeric tablets was really, really important. Magnesium. When you drink, your body is so depleted of magnesium. So you want to be making sure that you have magnesium. And on my favorite products page, oh my God, guys, side note, new fucking website is coming so soon. Keep a lookout. I literally am like pissing my pants with excitement. Um, so magnesium glycinate is the magnesium that you want to get. It's the most bioavailable magnesium and it's the most well absorbed in your body. Do not get like magnesium citrate, like that shit you literally pay money for and you poo it out straight away. Like it's great for constipation, but that's it. So, um, it's on my favorite products page, the magnesium glycinate. Take that before you go out and take it when you come home. Um, I also, the next day, take ATP's Court RX. We'll also put the link to that in the description. I make sure that I make a cacao elixir the next morning full of mushrooms and adaptogens um, to help with my liver. And if you're in Witch Room Wisdom, you've got like a pile there that you could be using. Um, I also take the ATP multi-foods vi- um, vitamin. And then also, um, if you've been drinking a lot over the holidays, I would recommend that you um, are also taking a bit of the gut right powder from ATP. Um, hopefully, you've already done the gut right cleanse. And if you haven't, do it after the holidays. No point starting now. Um, do the gut right cleanse afterwards. Make sure you do it properly, though. So no gluten, no grains, no dairy for 10 days, no sugar, no vegetable oil for 10 days. And you take one scoop three times a day. It's amazing. Um, but just for now, like during the holidays, maybe just having like a scoop a day, just like keep your gut in check, making sure that your gut is getting plenty of the polyphenols, which is really important. They're all through the gut, right? Obviously, which is amazing. They're all going to be really good things. Also B vitamins. Um, it's really good at vitamin C. So camu camu powder or a vitamin C powder, um, and collagen. Now, if you can take these supplements before you go to bed, you're going to be way better off. If you, like I, I do a thing where before I go out, I have my glass of water beside my bed and then I lay out all of my supplements. So I'll have like my vitamin C powder already in my glass, my V vitamins, my multi food, my magnesium, like turmeric, all that jazz. So that when I come home, it's like, I don't have to think about it, find it, like open up packages, whatever. It's sitting right there ready for me to take. And that way it really helps me in the morning. Um, And that's what I would also be doing if you can when you um, come home or before you go out, popping that around um, where you go to sleep or in the kitchen or wherever is easiest for you. Um, So they're kind of like my tips with like drinking around the holidays. Please just remember, ladies, like there's no right or wrong way to do this. You don't have to drink majority of the year and then you can drink around the holidays if you want to. Like just do what makes you feel good. Ask yourself the question why. Tune into how it's allowing you to like nourish your soul. Um, live your fucking life. Take all the supplements. Have them ready. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Use the Mamataro stuff if you need that. And notice the symptoms that you get after you drink just so that you can like be aware of them before they occur next time so you're not like um, – it's nothing out of the blue. Do you know what I mean? You kind of are like, oh yeah, I've been drinking. That's why I'm feeling like this. Um, that sort of stuff. Because that way you're not like victimizing yourself or you're not feeling guilty or you're not like, oh my God, why do I feel like this this week? This week's been the shittest week. Instead you're like, no, 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 it's, this is totally normal. You know, um, you know, alcohol is a depressant after all. Alcohol is a depressant. So it will make you depressed. Um, and that's like, kind of natural. So let, let it do its thing basically. And don't beat yourself up. Um, hopefully you had a really fun night for it, but yeah. Oh, the other thing is don't drink. Well, in my opinion, don't drink to have a fun night. I also have a rule uh, with myself. If I'm having a fun night, I will drink. If I'm not having a fun night, I will not drink. So if I'm like out with friends and I'm like, I don't know how the night's going to go. Like, do I want to drink? Do I not want to drink? I'll kind of just like start with just a water, like a soda water. And then if things are like getting really fun and I want to have a drink, I will. But if things are like not getting that fun, I'm kind of like, I'll go home soon. Then I won't drink to make it fun. So I don't drink to make shit fun. I drink if I am having fun or if I know it's going to be fun, if that makes sense. Um, Okay, so hopefully that has helped you all lots and I really wish you all such a happy holiday and Merry Christmas or Hanukkah or nothing. I don't know. Some people celebrate like nothing maybe. I don't know. Um, happy New Year's as well, ladies Like and men. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support this year of this podcast. It's 
out of control, the amount of listens that I get and the amount of feedback that I get and the amount of reviews that you have left me. If you haven't left a review, I'd be really grateful if you would take, literally it takes like one minute to do it. I know it seems like this massive effort, but like it actually takes one second. I remember the first time I did a review and I was like, oh, that was really fast. Like it takes one second. So I'd really, really appreciate if you could leave me a review. Um, it is like an, it is like, it's like you paying me for my services. Like it's that energy exchange. So I really appreciate that. Um, and I just want to quickly remind you as well, ladies, that I am having a holiday. So if you have questions over like this, basically from now until about the 20th of January, I'll be skiing and having fun, which you guys will see on my Instagram stories. But if you have questions, can you please make sure that you email them to us? Because my manager can then reply to your email, whereas I will be MIA with DMs and they will get lost. So if you have a serious question for me that you want answered, do not send a DM. Please send an email. You can email hello at monicayates.com.au. Don't forget the AU, like A for Australia. Okay. Um, do not forget that. We'll put the we'll put the email in the description. So you can see it as well. Um, if you are wanting to be a one-on-one client or be in the mastermind or the Badass Bitches Academy or the certification for next year, also send us an email so we can get you on that list and we can give you all the details and everything, pricing, X, Y, and Z. Um, and then if you haven't joined Witch Room Wisdom, that is going to be closing end of the week. So also make sure that you have joined that so you can have witchy fun over the holidays. And like I said before, the New York event for March, the tickets are on sale. I'm so fucking excited. That was the best three days of my fucking life. Um, you can see testimonials in the video and everything on the website. Um, so that's those tickets are out. So make sure you get them if they're not already sold out. And then also, um, also, also, also can't remember what I was also going to say. Oh, the happy holidays masterclass. If you are worried about your family boundaries, triggers, all that jazz, for the holiday period from the bottom of my heart the masterclass will get you so fucking prepared you get a meditation you get mantras you get journal prompts and then also it's one it's a one hour class but it will take you longer to do because you got to like pause the video along the way it's probably like take you two hours um and I really really highly recommend it so ladies that's where I'm gonna leave it and men um I hope that you if you're a man that's wanting one-on-one coaching as well please let me know for next year same goes um I'm not doing group programs yet for men just one-on-one Um, The Happy Holidays Masterclass would also be really helpful for men as well. So I just really hope that you will have an incredible fucking holiday. Give yourself time to reflect in the the Witch Room Wisdom. Please make sure that you do the um, manifestation section for 2020. Use that guide. Use the um, visualization practice. Really reflect on the year, ladies, and create yourself some, some epic, epic intentions for the next fucking decade. Um, and I will see you guys next year, but I'll see, you'll see me on my Instagram story, but I'll be doing a lot less work on my Instagram story and a lot more fun. So you'll see me skiing, maybe crying because of skiing. Um, yeah, but I really hope that you all, I'm losing my voice. (coughs) I really hope that you all have an incredible Christmas and I will talk to you all soon. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you got lots of chicken nuggets out of today's episode. I would be really, really grateful if you'd be able to leave me a review and a star rating that you think is appropriate, hopefully five. And if you could share this podcast so that I can help more women live a life of flow and ease, I would be so fucking grateful. Make sure you tag me in it on Instagram so I can personally thank you because I know so many of my clients have found me literally because their friends have posted about my podcast on their Instagram story. And I just want to help as many women as possible. So by you sharing it, I would be so fucking grateful. And I'm sure your friends would be too. If you do want to welcome me, please do check out my website for all those details. And of course, you can DM me on Instagram with any other questions. If you have any podcast things you want me to talk about, any ideas, any feedback, I am always open to it. And I always love hearing what you guys have to say. So please don't hesitate about that either. I will catch you on the flip side. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are. 